Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to do a little project. Easter is coming, so I thought I'll do an Easter holder for eggs. In this instance, I'm using I'm using MDF. I'm using three millimeter MDF to cut a, a rabbit shape. I found a rabbit, an interesting shape, which I wanted to use. Um, I strip everything down just to ensure I got the silhouette of the rabbit, and I try to make it make it look like it's holding an egg. Um, and from the designs I've seen so far on the market, I've I've decided to lift up the holder, so it looks like the egg is suspended in the air. Um, I'm using Illustrator for for designing all the all the bits and of bobs that I'm doing. As I've mentioned before, I'm learning still with uh, with Illustrator. I'm trying to learn how to to make all the allowances for for laser cutting to ensure that I've got a good fit. Sometimes I have to admit I have to cut bits two three times before I get them right, just because sometimes. Uh, the allowances that I put for for the laser cutter is just not working. Some bits are too loose, some bits are too tight, and they're not merging well together. But in this instance, I'm happy with the results. I I got a good I got a good fit, and I'm proud of it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use MDF A4 three millimeter. I'm using pretty much the same settings that I use for plywood. I try to use a bit more power in in this laser cutter that I use. Uh, probably I've used too much power based on the laser burn marks that we see uh, so we could go either faster or maybe reduce the power a little bit. Uh, MDF is slightly flatter than plywood so I will not be worried about 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 it. Um, as I mentioned in some previous videos, the epilogue that I use is quite precise. You can actually see it here. It cuts very close to the edge and it still cuts very well. And the remaining bits is so thin, but yeah, very, very precise. Again, if you got any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and we'll try to pick them up as, as soon as we can. Also, if you got questions or want to know the suppliers that we use for the wood, I'm more than happy to give you that as well. Um, I managed to buy a Kinder Egg just to see how it fits. I try to stay away from the chocolate these days. It's very good, but sometimes in, in big quantities it can cause lots of issues. <laughs> yeah, Easter is coming, so wishing you all a happy Easter. And why not try to get a product for, for your kids to to hold the Kinder Eggs or to hold the, the other chocolate eggs for, for them. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and as always if you got a project in mind that you want us to work on please comment it down below and i'll be more than happy to to design it for you and why not i'll send you one for free yeah thank you for watching catch you later